over and I call, I freaked out. I called Donnie because that's what I do automatically. I freak out, you know. You called Donnie. I called Donnie. I said, I cannot find Summer. Come home now. He's like, call the cops. So I threw my phone down on the back of his pickup, ran over to my mom, picked up her phone because it's the only one that gets out there at AT&T. Okay. So I picked up her phone. I dialed her phone. I said, I cannot find my daughter. And they sent people out and I wasn't just going to stand there and wait for them to send people out. Right. I jumped in my mom's truck and I went down. Oh, I don't know if you would be able, if you would know if she has been taking anything since this. I don't know if you're, because your communication hasn't been there, but do you happen to know? Nope. But it just strikes me as odd that she wasn't showing any kind of okay. I'm like, emotion. She, was, she wasn't showing any emotions and now she called to tell you about Summer. She wasn't even showing any emotions the night when I got to talk to her when Summer was missing. But she was she went missing. The night she went missing, when I was talking to Candace on the phone, she wasn't even on sitting video. on video. She was pacing back and forth in her kitchen fiddling with her hat on her head and yawning. and yawning. She wasn't crying or nothing. If that was my kid, I'd be crying my eyes out. So you talked to, you talked to Candace on June 15th that night. Yes. I was at the ball field at, let's see. She called at seven twenty nine. She called my son. Hunter, she called Hunter about 15 after seven. And Hunter called my phone at the ball field at seven twenty nine. And then when we got back, um, we were sitting here talking, and then Candace called on Snapchat on video. I got booted out of my own stream, sorry. About 11 something, close to 12, on video. Does she normally call on video? Nope. And I started asking her questions. I'm like, what were you guys doing? How did she become missing? You know, like, what did you guys, like, what were they doing and stuff? And that's when she started giving me the story about them planting flowers and going in the camper, getting, wash their hands, getting candy. And then she walked from the trailer to the house and then it was all crazy. She never showed any ounce of emotion. And then you asked where her mom was at and she said she's outside talking to the police because I'm not talking to them. Now, do you know if the neighbors well, did see anyone over? Now, was Don the only one to call 911 that night, that day, or did Candace call as well, too? I believe it was just Donnie. Okay. Which is kind of strange. She had stated that she called as well, too. What? From what I heard was that, at first what I heard was that one of the siblings called. And then I heard Donnie called. My thing is, why didn't some other call? Even if there's she no cell told phone us service. That she called Don. Even if there's no cell phone service or anything, you still get 911 services. Right. Like, why would you pick up the phone and call your husband first? Well, how did they not have cell service, but they were able to text, go on Messenger, video chat, and Snapchat, but they couldn't make any... Did they just not have a service? It was just all, all off the Wi-Fi. Um, I believe they had service, like, they had Wi-Fi and stuff. Mm -hmm. But that's a question that still gets me is, why didn't Candace call it herself? Yeah, right. If she knew her daughter was missing, and she couldn't find her, why didn't she pick up that phone and call herself? Why did she pick up and call her husband? Work about an hour away, trying to make his way home. Careful. 